So my son managed to break the glass on this induction stove and uh, it should be easy to replace because it is an independent unit. Trouble is getting service is quite difficult in India. Surprisingly there's a replacement glass piece not quite the exact size available on Amazon. So I figured let's try and replace the glass. Now how do we remove the existing glass? There's no good video on YouTube but there was one person who tried various methods and finally suggested that heat may be the solution. He used a blowtorch but I'm going to use this heat gun which is uh, got up to 1800 watts of heat. I'm going to use it on one. In fact I've already removed one piece and it seems to be working so let's show you how this thing works. I'm going to put it on the low setting. I've got this knife and I've got the screwdriver to actually disengage the piece. Alright, you're looking good. As little heat as possible to get the job done. Oh, look at that. You're gonna kind of good at this, aren't you, boy? Fantastical. And there we have it. So we have a small crack here where too much heat was put. But otherwise we are looking in good business. You are ready to rock. So the question was how do we... I've got the replacement. This is more or less clean. Slight crack here, not a big deal. I think the replacement is slightly larger than what's required. That's fine. The question in my mind is what adhesive do we use to stick it in place? Now it's a mild, because there's pressure on it this way, you don't need a major adhesive properties. I decided to try silicon sealant. Now I've looked up the properties in Google and thank, thank you Google yet again. And apparently this can take temperatures up to 200 degrees centigrade without a problem and up to 300 degrees Celsius for short bursts of time. Now the typical temperature, typical operating temperature is around 350, 180 degrees Celsius. So we are looking good. Another good reason, in my mind at least, to use silicon sealant is it will provide a slight, very slight uh, shock absorbing capability and that may make the difference from another break in this glass. Here goes. Another good part of silicon sealant uh, is the fact that it will prevent water liquids from slipping into the electrical internals so we don't want that so this will not only make the surface adhere it will also make it waterproof and like I'm hoping provide a tiny bit of shock absorbing capability. How does that look? 
I think it looks mighty fine, so we're just going to drop it in place perfectly and leave it at that. So let's just make sure we're doing it really right. That looks good to me. Going down, down, landing, and we have landed. Slight pressure, and that's it. A little more, and let's just give it a little more. Okay. You know here and now we don't touch it till it sets righto now for the final test let's turn on the switch lights come on nicely i've got a little watt meter here that's a proxy for how much energy is being used by this so right now it's using very little 1.3 let's add in a saucepan and get the show on the road. Let's look at the watt meter. Beautiful. Showing almost a thousand watts, which means the water is getting hot. Working fine, fans on. Check it out. Ooh, nice. Great. 